Hey guys, how you doing? This is Asamo here, and I got Paul. What's up, Paul? Hey brother, what's going on? We got a little bit of news today, huh? Yeah, we've got a lot today. Today is uh, December the uh, the twenty first, uh, two thousand eleven, hmm. and uh, I believe today is the start. What they call it, the start of the uh, Mayan calendar um, prediction of the end of the world, according to this tablet thing, hmm. and. Um, but before we talk about that, we had a there was an interesting uh, thing they had in Birmingham. Um, somebody took pictures of uh, these huge clouds that look like tsunamis. And actually, it was my brother who who uh, found this news here, and and you got to see this uh, these uh, these pictures because they're they're uh, pretty pretty awesome to see. Um, and I've got it right here. I'll roll it up to you right now. Um, on these pictures here. And as you can see this is this is in Birmingham and uh <clears throat> you can see these huge huge uh clouds that look like giant tsunamis um that somebody took out of their I guess their their window and in Birmingham, Alabama, and uh, you know, you might say it just looks like um, clouds forming. Clouds <laughs> forming, yeah. But you know, this it just means something else, I think. Do Do we have any other besides this one, like on YouTube right here? Right here? Um, let's see here. We have uh, we might we have another one here that we can check out here. Wow, look at um, that. Yep, that's another one down here of uh, in in Birmingham. Wow, how look it at looks that like one. there. Wow. So that's how big this thing is. Um and they're all lined up there. Yeah. Wow. So um, one, two, three, four, yeah. like seven of them are. Wow. Could that be prophetic? You know, could that be a possibility of, of a big uh, uh, a tsunami of water hitting that that area? I don't know. I don't know, brother. Is it possible that could be what's happening? Know. Like we're getting pre-warned. I don't know. But it's just ironic, folks, is that today, um, if you look in Yahoo News, uh, they they mention that today is the um, the actual starting date of of the tsunami, and this is on um, Yahoo News. It says uh, 2012 end of the world countdown based on Mayan calendar starts today, and it's kind of ironic. I think it's kind of ironic. Mm. That that all of a sudden this video about the the huge tsunami coming up and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> I know we've been talking about the Mayan calendars and stuff like that. I've got another um, website that actually tells you all the predictions uh, of the Mayan calendars right here, and these are these are all the predictions of um, what um, could happen in 2012. And, and I'll break it down for you, so so you all can see. Uh, number one, it, it says the the Mayan calendar uh, ending at 2012. It says it it ends it's a it ends on 2012 December uh, 21st of December uh, 12. So the 21st of 2012 is when they say it's going to end. But um, they're actually celebrating. You, you mentioned that uh, you've heard something that. Uh, yeah, well, in Mexico, the, right? well, yeah, the the mayor of the town is uh, is getting. It's kind of like he's expecting this is a big thing, like it be the Mardi Gras or something. Hmm. They're like they're getting, they're looking forward to a countdown hmm. for this to happen. It's like a, it's a fun thing, you know. Wow. When you know, to me, when <laughs> when the so called hits the fan, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'd be wanting to. Uh, Usher it in and look forward to it. I mean, yeah. you know, whoa, you know, I'd be fearful. Yeah. I mean, I shouldn't be fearful because I know the Lord's going to take care of it. But your first response is to be, is you're going to be fearful. That's right. What's going to happen? That's right. You know? Exactly. So. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> here's here's that uh, website I was talking about, the uh, countdown. Uh, they said the uh, Mayan calendar, obviously, that's the number one part. Mm. And then there's a, another theory from Norsodamus that predicted, it says that uh, 2012 uh, prediction would be complete without Norma Damas. And Norsodama was obviously a Frenchman prophet, and uh, he said something about uh, the prediction of the end of the world 
of 2012. So he's another person who said the end of the world 2012. So that's the second theory on that. Uh, uh, the third theory is um, they call it Planet X. Uh, mm. um, you know, the, what it is, Planet X uh, in scientific term is, is basically a planet or a giant comet or meteor that, uh, um, <clears throat> you know, that they don't know what it is that's supposed to hit the earth kind of thing. And I think mm. I've got a little article on here. Uh, we call it, um, us Christians, we call that uh, Wormwood. Mm. Wormwood. And um, this is a, like a, a galactic thing that, that's going to hit um, basically our Earth. Um, that's a, It's basically a collision kind of thing that they said that that's going to happen in 2012. Uh, we did have one thing, I have to admit, that we did have something that happened... Um, um, this year we had the Comet Ellen and that a lot of people talked and we actually had footage on that. And then we had the YU-55, uh, uh, comet that came pretty close to our atmosphere and, uh, you know, that could have hit the earth and stuff like that. So what they're saying that, um, with the planet X, that's, that's part of the theory on that. Uh, the, another theory, uh, what they say is, uh, Armageddon. So they believe that, um, Armageddon would take place 2012. That's another theory uh, um, that they're saying. And if you don't know what Armageddon is, basically it goes with the Bible. It talks about Israel. It has a big part on Israel where, where all the nations will come against Israel. And as um, soon as they attack Israel, um, God's going to destroy them. And that's, that's what Armageddon is. And uh, in fact, we had one article my brother had that uh, the Russians came up with a um, a missile called Satan, and I thought that was kind. Of, it was it's kind of ringing. Yeah, they're on in me. the process of putting this missile together, and it's called Satan. Mm. And the thing is, like, it was a hundred ton. Was yeah, it, it was ton? about a hundred ton. And uh, but you know, someone in the right mind, why would you name a missile called Satan? You know, <laughs> um, that's uh, just so ironic as far as that. So um, that's part of Armageddon, what they're talking about. And uh, speaking about Armageddon, Armageddon is real. Uh, the Bible talks about it in Revelations. Uh, I don't believe that it's going to happen right away because um, um, it talks about things happening before Armageddon takes place. And that was like the last chapter of that. And so, but I, all I can say is, is that you don't want to stand against Israel because God will wipe you out. Yeah, so, and I think it's really important. You know, the United States is starting to step up and, yeah. uh, and do things with Israel. And I that's think that's right. a pretty wise that's thing right. to do. That's right. I, and I would suggest if we're speaking out to the whole world right now, that other nations mm. will kind of go over there and try to help out Israel too. Amen. To see if the Lord doesn't bless you too. Amen. Amen. And, and uh, we're just going to refer to that scripture, Genesis. Genesis. Genesis, uh, it says that if you bless Israel... All the nations would be blessed. It says that through Israel, through God will bless all the nations. And so basically you by blessing that, you be blessed. And, and so that's what scripture says. And it also talks about pray for the peace of Jerusalem and stuff. Yeah. So that's what Armageddon is. Um, for those who don't know what Armageddon is, it's, it's Israel and all the nations coming against that. And right now we're kind of almost in that phase. I mean, because yeah. we have we well, have you know, the, the the riders of the horses, the different horses are riding strong right now. Yeah, we can't Whoa. see what we I can't see. Yeah, there, there is. There, I'm, I'm telling you, that 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 angel that Sheep. that angel's on that horse and it's riding hard and fast. Mm -hmm. You ever watched like in the old western movies when when they gallop? With the, with, the, with the horses, they start bringing up the dust and they're mm. galloping. And there's there's like a, 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 out of their nostrils is coming steam, like coming up. And, I, and I'm just mm. picturing this in the spirit right now, that they're running hard, really hard. Ooh. And they're ready to drop these vials. Wow. But they're rushing to the area where they're wow. supposed to be. And they're, and I, the Lord just showed me right now, there's going to be strategic areas wow. in different countries that these uh, these angels will be on horses and the horse, horses will be in different areas ready just to release it. Wow. To release their vials upon this earth. And it's already happening now by just That's different right. things that are happening. That's right. Wow. And, you know, and the Lord just showed me something right now, the green horse. Mm. 
or the the, the green horse. Did this I was, is there such thing as a green horse? Is that in the Bible? Uh, I'm not sure. Is it I think green? There's, yeah, there's a black and there's a green. Yeah. And, well, the green one, the Lord just showed me that, the, the talk about the green mm. horse. I need to find out where that's at. I'm not sure exactly where it is mm. in, in Revelations. Mm. Maybe he'll help me here real quick. Well, my brother is looking for that. that. I'm going to continue Go on to this. Uh, so that's part of Armageddon. That's that's a, the, uh, I believe, the one they're talking about. And then there's another fifth one that people are talking about. It's called the, uh, uh, I can't even pronounce that word. Was it Akapal's? Apocalypse. 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 Yeah, I keep Apocalypse. getting things mixed up. And so basically, Apocalypse it means uh, judgment and the end and so forth, uh, which I don't think that that's possible yet. But you never know. You never know. You never know. And then the sixth one here is is kind of very scientific, and they're talking about solar flares. And uh, right now we are having a problem with the solar flares, and this is from NASA. It says NASA regularly monitors the sun activity uh, for the cycles. And uh, those of you uh, who are following up on the solar flares, uh, there's been, um, it, they're saying that the, the sun is basically dying and um, it's, it's basically deteriorating. And uh, in fact, uh, as, as, the, as these things uh, rebooting, rebooting on the solar flares, uh, the Bible talks about um, talks about the moon turning uh, blood red, and it says that the the moon will will, will basically dissipate, uh, and it turns this this huge blood red kind of thing, and then he says the end. Uh, then he says, "Look up, and you'll see um, Jesus coming and stuff." So that's in Matthew twenty four. So the solar flare that is a reality that is happening. Um, I believe. Uh, in NASA, you check out NASA, you go into NASA's website and then type in the sun solar flares and that's happening. And and uh, <clears throat> those of you who may not know what that is, uh, uh, there's a movie called Knowing by um, uh, Nicolas Cage where the sun was giving out this huge sparks. In fact, I, I had a, a clip of that, of the, the sun showing off these huge uh, sun flares and stuff and, and what happens is the sun will, will reach the earth and it will cause it a, a blaze so that's what they're fearing and they also believe that the uh, solar flare has a lot to do with with the temperature that's happening and stuff like that and uh, I believe it has a part with the pole shift uh, the beginning of the year of 2011 there was an article that says about the pole shift and, and now there's the how we have the north and the south it's it's not equal anymore it's balanced off so that uh, and i believe that's why we're having these earthquakes uh as we can see down <clears throat> in alaska a lot of activities happening and the different weather patterns so i believe that that has something to do with that so that's the so um the sun flares that's happening uh the other part is that they're saying that there's going to be a galactic um alignment and we kind of did have that already, so I don't know if that has anything with it. Maybe someone out there may know more, but they said when there's an alignment, it causes some kind of huge uh, destruction and storms and tsunamis and so forth. So um, that kind of did happen with, with the comet. I know there was an alignment sometime this year. It did happen, but this was talking about an actual alignment, and um, so that's that's part of that one. Um <clears throat> they're talking about and this has to do with the planet x and wormwood as we're talking about you know regarding what i spoke about earlier i was i'm wrong it was a red and a black and white horse that they're talking about but what's been coming to my spirit i mean is green green and what that represents hmm. i don't know if that represents disease or or something that hmm. uh, pestilence or something of that kind i'm not sure but green wow comes to my it comes to well, my mind. Uh, you know, the green, when you said green, yeah. brother, um, years ago, the Lord was showing me colors, what, what the meaning of colors. And, and I don't know, Good. you know, this, this yeah. could be me. Maybe I'm yeah. having too much of uh, water or something like that. <laughs> or something, who knows, or perfume, I don't know. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I felt like it, it means like words that are come to pass, mm -hmm. you know. And things of that that were spoken and now coming to pass. Mm. 
Yeah. Well, you know, have you noticed that all the the, the colors of the flags of different nations, uh, like Quran and, uh -huh. and uh, Muslim, they're all colors of green. Mm. In fact, I was watching this thing the other day. I don't know if you've seen it or mm. not. And over at the, the, you know, that tower where that were, were over in New York where it was demolished, that the Twin Towers. The Twin Towers. Yeah. Well, over at over at the, I think it's at the um, Empire State Building. Mm. They had it all lit up green. Really? Yeah, green like lights. Right, green lights. Like showing it up, like illuminated from it. Really? And they're supposed to be. This is I'm not sure if this is true or not, but they're supposed to be the colors of the Muslims. Really? And they're what they're trying to infiltrate this kind of thing or this awareness in the United States. Awareness of what? A awareness of, of their colors and what they're going to do and their what they want to do with with their agenda. As far wow. as taking over or putting themselves above Christianity, that kind of thing. Wow, wow! I seen something. I think it was I seen wow. it on the news the other day. I think that's what I seen it. Really, it's a prophetic thing. It was they were showing different colors and they were implementing them on their flags and, in, and wow. over here in the United States and illuminating these things so you'd look at them. So, oh, this is, it looks real nice and it does look nice, mm. but there's something behind there's, it. There's a meaning. Yeah, there's an agenda, and there's more of that going on. Really, wow. Well, you know, um, as we know, uh, I was talking to someone earlier, and um, and there's so <coughs> much persecution as far as being a Christian, you know, mm -hmm. uh, like that football player. My wife was showing me the, the article on Tebow, you know, mm -hmm. and, and uh, I mentioned to her that we were doing that telecast on mm -hmm. that. And, uh, I mean, this man, you know, who loves the Lord and... It's the Lord who actually got him where he was. That's right. Because he was like, what? He was he was like a nobody. In the That's right. He's him. a rookie. I mean, he's his yeah. first year. Yeah. And it's kind of un unusual to see somebody come out of college. Yeah. And then just take a team and just turn them around. And they were, they were uh, during this time, he mm -hmm. was losing all kinds of games. And they were saying, oh, get this guy out. They were just putting him down and everything. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden... He started getting on the on the sidelines, started kneeling and thanking God for the bad things that happened when mm -hmm. he threw interceptions or uh -huh. when he blew it. He was thanking God for the good things that happened to him when he made touchdowns and mm -hmm. he ran. And that's what it is for him right now. I mean, he this guy, he mm -hmm. runs. I mean, nobody can nobody can catch him. What they do, he doesn't get hurt. It seems like there's like an angel to block him so he mm -hmm. doesn't get hurt. Wow. Wow. So and this guy is taking over the, the division right now. And people are just going, wow, that shouldn't be like that. This other team should be taken over, not them. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, so, but God he, moves in mysterious ways. You yeah, know? and then he's getting a lot of persecution oh, by, yeah. by from, people, from, from pastors and every other, wow. other wow. Christians. Yeah, they're pointing. You know, that's one thing. You know, what the Lord has been showing me. We can't wow. be pointing our fingers at people mm. when we when we have when we're trying to t point our fingers at people when we have a big log in our eye and our brother has a s tiny little sliver in his mm. and we're trying we're trying to pull the sliver out of his eye and we have a huge log in ours. We can't see. Mm. And that's what the Lord's been showing me that you, you see with spiritual eyes, those people cannot see. What I mean by that is those people that look into people's situation and they say, oh, they should be this way. Well, they've mm. got a big uh, 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 log in their own spiritual eyes. Once they get that out of their eyes, mm. then they'll be able to see what's going on. And mm. I think the Lord's really moving in, in this Tebow's life. And I commend him yeah. for getting on that side. I could care less what the critics think. That's right. And, and, and if people say, oh, how can you pray to God and ask him to win a football game? Hey, we ask him for a lot That's of things right. in our lives Amen. that are off the wall. Oh. And he does it. That's right. Because he loves us. That's if right. he didn't love us, he'd say, hey, forget it. If That's it right. lines up with my will, then I'm there. That's right. But if it doesn't line up with my will, I'm out of here. That's right. And that's, that's the right. way God is. Wow. And that's what we got to understand. We ask him for a lot of things. A lot of us ask him for our oh, our wants. Yeah. And the Lord says, I'm, I'm sorry. That doesn't line up with my with my with with what I want. That's right. I want your needs done first. That's right. Let me take care of your needs. And then we'll talk about your wants. That's right. That's right. And wow. that's one thing the Lord has been showing me a lot lately is that if you have needs, mm. I'm there. I'm there. That's right. I won't let you go like an orphan. Oh. I'll be there for you. Oh. You just got to trust me. Wow. You got oh. to surrender it and you got to trust me. If you surrender and trust these things to me, I'll take care of them for you. But if you keep taking them back oh. from me every time I turn around that you ask me, well, then I'm going to let you take care of it. Oh. And I'm not trying to get down on everybody, but I know the Lord feels this way. He says, you, you even forgot yesterday what I did for you. That's right. Why did you forget yesterday? Now you're complaining to me about something different, and I did something for you beautiful the other day. That's right. And all you had to do was oh. remember that. That's right. <laughs>
So anyway. Whoa, no, that was good, brother. That's good, brother. You know, yeah. Anyways, if if Tebow's listening to him, if yeah, if Tebow's listening, we want to say that God bless yes, you. Yes, bless and, you, Tebow. And we support you. Yes. And keep giving the Lord praise. And Tebow, I'm telling you something. I'm a Raider fan, and I know you hate Raider fans, but hey, you got my blessing. Amen. You got my blessing. Amen. We want to. And we, we want to, you know, just like uh, for those who are sticking up for the gospel and you're in the sick, secular media, whether you're an actor or, or a musician, you know, uh, just give the Lord praise. Yes, give yes. the Lord praise, you know, give the Lord praise because yes. he's the one who's going to lift you up. That's right. And he's the one who can take you down. That's too. right. That's, that's right. why I think he's. I Lord think gives, Tebow, the Lord takes. That's right. I think Tebow, <laughs> Tebow has got the good. He's that's got right. the right. You know, that's I mean, right. I want to say, yeah. Bless him for bless everything him, what he's doing. Bless and, him uh, more, Lord. Yeah, and uh, those who uh, think he's radical, whatever, you know, who cares? That's right. Who cares? Who cares? When you it's know? all said and done, you have to answer to one person. That's when right. it's all said and done, That's right. you may have a lot of critics. You That's may have right. bosses. You may That's have right. you know, people in your family or whatever, That's relatives. Right. And They're all telling you what to do. That's when right. it's all said and done, there's only one person you have to answer. That's right. That's right. Just think about that. Mm. Mm. And you're over here worrying about all these people oh, are doing this and that. Yeah. Just get rid of it. Oh, that's get right. rid of it. Just let it go. That's Surrender right. that oh. and say, Lord, you direct my path. That's right. And then and then when you do that, then people will look at you with a different eye. They'll go, wow, this person's pretty cool. Or this person's got it together. Yeah. And what they're doing is they're seeing, what they're, they don't know it, but God is working in your life to, to please them, that's but right. you're not even trying to please them. That's right. That's how the Lord works. He That's makes right. it a man. He doesn't please by what you do. That's right. When you oh. please God, then the Lord fixes it up all the way around. So everybody's happy. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know, I, I just, I just so wrapped up in that, brother. I mean, uh, as far as like, you need to just, you know, um, give the Lord praise yes. no matter what. Yes. You know, the good and the bad. That's right. And the in between, that's you know? right. That's right. The things that don't look so you don't understand that's it. You right. say hey, thank you for that too. I, you that's know, right. That's I'm right. A, I'm oblivious to what you're doing, but that's right. I thank you. That's right. You know, I heard somebody said one time, brother. You know, when when I was at this uh, job, um, somebody said uh, I was talking about the Lord. You know, mm. and uh, to this one person, because this person was asking me questions in it. You know. Mm. And I just tell her, yeah, I go to church and, and we're just prophesying all this stuff. Oh, mm, really, really? And wow. she was like listening, listening. And the other person, uh, supervisor said, uh, you know what? Uh, we need to just uh, kind of like watch it. Take know? it down a notch. Yeah, huh? take it down a notch. Because, wow, uh, you know, we uh, they're not saved. They don't they don't have a Lord, you know. And uh, well, Maybe they need to hear it now. <laughs> <laughs> amen, amen. You know what? The church needs to wake up, you know. Don't put and, God in a box. That's right. Know? That's right. That's right. And and I like what that one person from Reading said. You know, he said, when the animals come in, you can't stop mm. them. You know, when, when Lonnie Frisbee came and, and he right. was a hippie and, and all right. these hippies were coming to the Lord yeah. and stuff. You know, it, it was a choice with, with Chuck Smith to say, well, you know, do we want these people in? Or uh, are we going to be afraid for our carpet being di dirty or yeah. whatever? Or are you going to care about someone's salvation here? Yeah. Well, that's one of the, the Chuck Smith. Oh. Chuck Smith came over when when, when Lonnie Frisbee sir, first met Chuck Smith. He came to his door yeah. and his feet were all filthy. Yeah. And he go, well, that guy can come in but clean his feet and go to my house. <laughs> oh. But, you know, when the, Lord, when, when the Lord comes, let me tell you. If we get a revival like we're supposed to be getting or, oh, or awakening, that's right. it's going to get messy. That's right. And what I mean by that, it's going to get messy. People that you thought would never be there, how the Lord anointed and put their hands on that's them, right. you're going to be flipping out going, whoa, what's yeah. going on here? <laughs> oh, it's going to yeah. get messy. That's right. So that's expect right. them, welcome the messiness. That's right. That's right. Because then the anointing will come fast and hard. That's right. That's right. There's a good, there's a good friend of ours. His name oh. is John, John Crowder. Oh and yeah. And this guy, he may have, he may be a certain way, but this guy, when he comes in, it looks messy. That's right. But he's got a message. That's right. That's and that's right. what, that's what we want is we want the message. We don't that's care right. about what the person looks like. That's right. That's right. If they believe in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, they're batting a thousand right there. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You know, we want, we want you to know that, you know, um, you can't put God in a box, mm. you know, and, uh, you know, thank God for, I'm going to say again, thank God for yes, people for, yes. for, for praying and, and, Bless him, Lord. And, and being in a public eye and just worshiping the Lord and giving him praise. Bless I mean, that's him, what Lord. we need to do. You yes. know, we need more out. We need more actors to go out there 
and standing up. Uh, for that, and in fact, I think we should pray yeah. for these people. Yeah, yeah, that's what we want to pray for all those actors, yes, Lord. all Have those mercy. people in the public eye. Have mercy, and your question, you know, them, should I? Bless them. God gave me this gift, and yes. God brought me where I am yes, today. Lord. And should, should I give him praise? Yes. What am I going to do if, if if my church uh, makes fun Lord. of us right now? Bless them. If the church says no, I don't want you here, Bless and, them, Lord. and I can't understand that right now. Bless them. The Lord says to go for it. Yes, go for it. Who cares what they right. say? Who That's cares right. what they say? You know what? Because the Lord brought them in. That's right. Broad, Lord brought you where you are That's today, right. and mm -hmm. He's the one who's gonna who's gonna um, lift you up. But He's the, also the one who can take you down That's too. Right. And I and, and I want I want I was shared with this this true uh, this one story about a a, a preacher. Now this uh, before we want to pray. I'm sorry, but I just I'm sorry. Yeah. There's this is a true story of a of, of a. a Baptist preacher, uh, I'm, I'm going to take it back, a, a preacher. <laughs> and what happened was he went into one of these Holy Ghost uh, mm. uh, meetings mm. and he got touched by the Spirit and his hands mm. started shaking. Oh. And then all of a sudden he started thinking about his career, thinking about what what would the media think of me? Mm. What would the church think of me? Mm. What would the uh, elders think of me? Mm. What's going to happen to my money if I did this mm. stuff? They're going to they're going to cut my money off. They're mm. going to cut my my books off and, mm. and and what I stand for and all this stuff. Mm. And then he went out because he he uh, he uh, didn't want this to happen, so he snuck out on that. And then he said to himself, "Ooh, that was close. I I would have lost my my status." Mm. And I tell you what. This is a true story. Right after he did that, he said he became very ill and he was going to die. I mean, that mm. that's how bad he became. He was at his deathbed, brothers and sisters. He was at his deathbed and, and there was a little boy that came up to him, did not know much about the Lord or anything, but he got saved and he was filled with the Holy Spirit. And he said, why don't you let God heal you? Mm. And he gave him uh, the scripture, uh, Isaiah, where it says, by his stripes you're healed. Mm. And he says, where did you learn that? He said, I learned that in the Bible. Mm. From who? From my pastor. Mm. He says, well, why don't you take me to your pastor? And, you know, he repented mm. and he asked God forgiveness and mm. stuff. And you know what? God healed him. Mm. God healed him. He was going to die. God healed him. Mm. And you know what? He said, I will never do that ever again. Mm. I learned a valuable lesson. Mm. I would never put God in a box. And, mm. and God is the one who gave me this gifting. Yes. And, and um, I'm not going to be ashamed. Mm. And I'll tell you, brothers and sisters. The Bible says that if we confess him before men, he will be he will confess us before the Father. Mm. Okay? Mm. So if you're saved and you must confess it before men, you must tell the giftings of when if you got saved and what God has done for you. Because you know, we're gonna we're all gonna stand. Mm. You know, um these people celebrating Mayan calendar, they're, they're saying the end of the world is gonna happen two thousand twelve. And there's some people laughing about it. We don't know. You know, but I tell you something, when the end does come, the Lord said he is going to come. And when he comes, it'll be too late. Mm. It'll be too late, my brothers and sisters. And he's not going to come like a dove. Oh, he's not right. going to come that's like right. a dove. Oh. He's coming. He's coming full force. That's right. He's coming full force. So if you're, if you're, if you're not, if you're in the way and you haven't accepted him, that's oh, right. well, you're just, you know, you should have your chance. Oh. So we follow, we just pray for everybody yes. right there yes. right now. All that you, that are out there, musicians and, and, yes. and in theater and oh. movies and stuff. If you have this anointing, oh. you, I want you to start thanking God for where you're at right yes. now. But you praise him and glorify him and step out. Yes. Step out for him. Yes. Show the things oh. of your heart. Yes. Show the things of your heart. And, and, and as long as they line up with the Lord, you have no, oh. you have no yes. worries about anything. You put the Lord first in whatever yes. you're doing. Whether you're singing, you're, you're playing guitar, oh. or you're playing drums yes. or bass, or you're, yes. whatever you're doing. In oh, the arts, yeah. just get out there, stand, stand out there, and say, "Lord, I give it all yes, to you. I, I surrender to you. it to you." And then just go forward, go yes. forward. You'll see Him put His hand That's on right. you. That's He'll right. put His hand on you. And He'll push you forth. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Yes, Lord. Tommy. Oh. There's a guy named Tommy out of the uh, 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 out of Berkeley, California. Shikawa. Tommy. Shikawa. The Lord says He's going to anoint you oh. further in your in your in your. Uh, you're a manager with your oh. group, and oh. he's going to help sure. you with this group right now. Yes. You're going to go to different venues, and he wants you to keep on the same the same thing that you've been doing, with the same thoughts, and where you should go. He says, yes, go that way. My hand is upon you. Oh, that's right. Oh, 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 oh. There's a, there's a oh. person named Patricia, mm. and the Lord has given you this job. Mm. And... Uh, 
and your your quest there's a co-worker there that does not know the lord and mm. he's asking you questions mm. and, and the lord says to to give them the answers mm. don't be afraid of the gospel mm. it's the lord who gave you that job sister and the Lord also can take it away. Mm. You know, what happened, I'm talking what happened to that pastor was a true story. But, you know, um, we're all going to stand before the Lord. We're all going to sure. be judged. And the Lord's going to say, what have you done for me? What have you done for me? Mm. Yeah, we're saved. You know, we're saved by grace and not by works. But he's going to judge us by the fruits also. He's What I mean by the fruits, he's going to. I'm not talking about money. I'm not talking about possessions. Who cares about that stuff? Because we can't take it to heaven. Mm -hmm. He's going to say, how about that person who who was ex wanted the Lord? Mm -hmm. You know, did you do anything about it? Mm -hmm. Or that person who needed prayer? Did yes, you pray sir. for that person? Yes, sir. I know I'm speaking to somebody there. Mm -hmm. You know, I, oh. I don't mean to make fun yes, or anything, but yes. there's a, we're talking about the Mayan oh. calendar, but the Lord brought this person's, uh, this person's uh, <laughs> name to me, Maya. Maya. And you're out of Palo Alto. Whoa. And you go to Stanford. Oh. And the Lord says that he's going to bless you in, oh. in, in your music that you're doing mm. right now. And he knows that you you, you you spent a lot of time and effort to make sure that your craft was do, that is doing well. Mm. And that you're, you're pushing hard to make sure that you get the music out, that, that it's right. about God. And he's going to bless you. He's going to open up doors for you. That's he's right. showing me, giving you gold keys right yes. now. So when you put them into that slot oh, of the door thing, yes. it'll open up automatically. In fact, he shows me, he shows, mm. me, he shows me after you open that one door, then the next door that you come That's to right. will have slight, it'll be electric doors opening oh, in front of you. Just approach it, it'll open before you. Well, you won't have to even use oh, a key to get yes. into it. It'll open automatically. Yes. And he shows yes. me that this glass door is made of diamonds. It's made oh. all of diamonds oh. and, and it's pulling apart and it's glistening and so bright, oh. but this door is opening for you to oh. walk through. Oh. She cut up. Oh. Oh. I just felt the anointing on that oh. one, brother. <laughs> Oh, oh, you know, the Lord's saving people right now. Those who are in, uh, who's discouraged, the Lord says to do it. Go for it. Yes. He's looking for Don't more. Back. He's more going to looking for more t yes, like Lord. that. Oh, he's more. looking for more t like that. It, and you know, all oh. you have to do is you just oh. say, I'm available. Yeah. Here I am. That's all you got to tell him. I'm here. Use me. When you, when you're simple like that, he oh. can use you. That's he right. will use you. That's right. If you mean it in your heart, say, but I don't have, but Paul, I don't have what you and a son, you don't need it. Yes. You don't need what we have. That's you don't right. want what we have. You yes. know why? You want what God gave you, not that's what right. we have. That's right. You give, you take what God has given oh, you. That is right. special for that's you. Right. You're anointed in a different way. Oh. We're both anointed in different ways. That's right. That's you don't right. want what we have. You want what God has for you. Yes. You don't want what Patricia King has. That's you don't right. want what Joshua Mills has. That's right. You don't want what any of those other prophets have. That's you right. want what the Lord wants to give you. That's right. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right, brother. Oh, oh, oh. oh. It's a special gifting that the Lord gives you. Give him praise. Yes, Lord. Give Bless him praise. You. Give him thanks. Bless you, Lord. Oh, oh. Thank you. Father, we just step in the gap for everybody we just yes. prayed for right now. Yes. And Father, we ask that you loose anything that's yes. not of you. Oh. And that you pour your spirit into everybody there that she needs your help, knows. Lord. That you just break through. Put a breakthrough in their finances. Yes. In their health. Yes. In their decision making. We ask that you loose the spirit upon them right yes. now, Father. Oh. Come, Holy Spirit. Yes. Come. Oh. Pour it out. Oh, thank In you, Jesus. Jesus. Name. Oh, well, I feel oh. strong. The spirit's strong right now. Oh. <laughs> We're ready for it tonight. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh be Come encouraged, uh, you out there. Yes. You know, if you just lost your job, to give them thank praise. Him. Thank, thank him. him. Thank him. Right. Thank him. Thank him. Say, bless you, Lord. Yeah. I mean, I know it's hard, but just, you know, right. look in the devil's face and say, thank you, Lord. Yeah. Bless you for it. Yeah, yeah. Because, you mean, know, it's what? hard, but. That's right. I'm but, sorry. You know what? But. The when the door, just remember when the door shuts, another door is open. That's right. And God knows the best door for you. Yes, Lord. He knows the best job for you. Yes. If you're an actor, the Lord knows the best yes, movie for you to be in. If you're a writer, the Lord has the best story for you to write. Yes, Lord. If you're a singer, the Lord knows the best That's group right. you should be in. If you're a, a lawyer, the Lord knows the best law firm for you to be mm. or maybe you need to start your own yes some of you people need to start your own business too Amen. and that's something you need to pray about but i tell you something if you do 
you better make sure you give him praise, just yeah. like Tebow is giving mm. him praise. Give him praise. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm going to tell you a testament, not this oh. time, but it'll have to do about <laughs> starting up a business. And oh, I did it with, yes. I did it, let me tell you this. I'm going to give you a little teaser here. I did it with a hundred bucks in my pocket. Wow. And I got three to four contracts, huge contracts that were commercial wow. with big name companies. Wow. And it started out with just my belief in God that he was going to do it for me and $100 in my pocket. Wow. That's all it took for me. Wow. Wow. We got to do that broadcast. Well, we gotta do you remind me about that. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, I think we need to go. <clears throat> so we bless, bless you. you. We bless, bless you. you. We bless, we bless you. you. Take care, huh? God bless and let you. Let the Lord take care of it for you. Amen. Amen.